So to start the, the tour, I figured that the best place to start was one of the jewels of this ship, and that's base camp. The perfect place where you can get ready to go on an exploration, to, to start your adventure off the ship, but get prepared on board. Let's go inside. So now we're inside base camp. As you can see, there's plenty of area storage here for you to get ready to put on your clothes to be outside in the elements and really explore things firsthand. So as I mentioned in base camp, you can actually get down to the tenders, which is brilliant. There's no kind of a long walk from here to get outside. You literally walk down these steps here and this is the door to the outside. We're gonna be boarding some of the Zodiacs later. I don't believe from in here. You can also board from the back of the ship but should be a really good experience. Also, you can see the wash area here so you can rinse off the clothes and things from when you're outside in the elements. So now we are in the expedition lab, an extension of base camp and the whole experience to really go in depth and find out more about the destinations where you are, find out more about the cultures, the animals and wildlife, everything you can imagine and this just helps enhance that where you can come in here and see things in a far better level and now we're down on deck four in the swan restaurant as you can see behind me everything's set up for this evening's dining um, we've had some wonderful meals in here must say i loved the chocolate fondant dessert i'm a dessert guy myself um, but yeah had some wonderful meals in here this is the main dining option on board um, you'd be able to have lunch here. There's also where breakfast is served. Breakfast is served more as a buffet style. I should hopefully have some pictures of that for you over the top of them. You can also have lunch, lunch here, but this is really for the main dining. There's also a captain's table. Also on deck four, you'll find reception. This is actually the level at which you board the ship. There is lifts just to my right and stairwell behind you, just the main stairwell um, located in the, in the center of the ship. Um, You'll also find on, on level four a selection of staterooms and also the laundrette. Now we're on deck five and this deck is solely um, cabins and suites. So a little bit different to some of the ships that I've been on recently where you found the suites all to be one end of the ship forward or aft and then um, public areas on the, on the other end. But here, all, um, all cabin categories are found on, on this level. Now here we are on deck six and very similar to deck five. This deck is only got accommodation on it. So we're now at deck seven and deck seven you will find the club, the swan's nest shop and the observation lounge. We're currently in the observation lounge and there's a few interesting features here. Um, this is where lectures would be given um, before exploring and really going out on an adventure. A superb place, I must say. It definitely helps that they have these screens that raise up out of the boxes all the way around, so there's not a bad view anywhere in here. You can always see the presentation from wherever you're sitting, along with the very large screen, as you can see over my shoulder, which also has the presentation on and the um, a stage for someone to actually give the talk. So really great place. There's easy access to bring microphones around so questions can be asked, so you can really have that interaction. It's not just a lecture there, someone's talking at you, but something you can actually participate in. So also on deck seven, deck seven aft, you will find the club lounge, as you can see over my right shoulder. Um, Perfect place for a buffet style lunch, um, snacks in the evening or even cakes and sweet treats. The perfect place to come and unwind after a day's exploring. Beautiful fake log fire in the middle of the room really gives it a cozy feel which would be great in those colder regions. So now we're up on deck eight where you will find the gym and the sauna. Um, a brilliant sized gym for a ship of this size, uh, multiple treadmills, stationary bikes, um, medicine balls, including all your classic dumbbells and, and weights and stuff like that. Elastic bands for band work. Um, definitely plenty of space to be able to keep in your normal routine whilst on board. And then on the other side of, of the ship up on deck eight here, you will find the sauna. And that is excellently designed where it has a one-way window where you can see out, so you're never gonna miss any of the adventure while you're on board. Um, there's lockers up here, two seats to relax inside, then a couple of showers, as you'll see in the video, and and the sauna itself. Outside is a hot tub, which isn't quite finished yet. They are just putting the, the last few touches on some of the things on board, but an excellent place to spend your, your days on board. 
So really the only place to finish a ship tour is here on the Swan's Nest. Hanging out over the bow of the ship, perfect for those spectacular views.